I use a computer for all my illustration work. I've been working this way since 2014. Control and shareability. I don't need to pack up my artwork into a large package and send it off across the seas to America, wondering whether it will get there, whether it will get there on time. I've had some bad moments with sending artwork overseas, and also the publisher has the expense of sending it back. You could scan the artwork yourself and send that digitally, but publishers don't really want you to scan it yourself, they want the original artwork. I use a thing called WeTransfer. WeTransfer is great. You can send up to 2 gigabytes and it will be available for 7 days. 2 gigabytes is enough for me to send a whole book very easily and that's free. So working on the computer, all your art is in a, a handy JPEG format. Or you can send it as layers as a PSD so that the designer can work on the different layers, move things about. What I would do in the old days was I would work on the computer but only to do the sketch. So I'd use a graphic tablet and Photoshop and I'd open the PDF that the publisher had sent me with the layout. I'd sketch onto it, making sure that it fitted around the text, leaving enough room, taking into consideration where the crease of the page came. And then, when that had been okayed, I would print that out, and then I'd have to stick it together, because, obviously, I have an A4 printer. I haven't got room for a bigger printer, and it would, you know, cost quite a bit of money. So. I used to print it out in pieces and stick it together with sellotape. And then I had a piece of paper which I rubbed graphite pencil onto the back and I would use that to press through my sketch onto a clean piece of watercolour paper which I would use to do the illustration on. This all takes up a lot of space on your desk. I mean I have a computer on a desk. Well I need another desk. To work on that takes up room especially with a large piece of paper lots of pencils and paint I am a very messy worker so there'd be paint everywhere and I tend to rub out a lot I never get my drawing right it, it's an agony to get my characters faces right rubbing out drawing rubbing out drawing I would end up my desk would be covered with little bits of rubbings my paper would get so dirty, paint everywhere, and I'd have to try and clean it up with the rubber again, and often I would make a hole in the paper because I'd worked at it so long, too long, and I didn't want to start from the beginning again, and the paint wouldn't go onto the paper properly because the paper was damaged. It was really quite stressful. On the computer, you've got full control over this. Your paper never need get dirty. You've always got that lovely white background you can go back to. Your drawing can be on a different layer. You don't need to disturb that drawing while you use the colour underneath. You can put it on a multiply over the top. You have the freedom to move aspects of the picture without destroying anything. You can select areas, make them bigger, smaller, move them around, experiment with where the text will go. I have the freedom to move that text to different places on the spread and work out the picture that works the best within that space. It gives you the freedom to experiment without destroying what you've already done. You can't do that with conventional work because once you start fiddling about with washes and various different pastels and techniques and whatnot, your painting might become destroyed and you might have to start from scratch. The other thing you can do on the computer, which is very difficult or impossible to do on conventional drawing, is you can include textures and bring them in on different layers. I think textures can make your painting feel richer and deeper. 
I use textures quite sparingly, but I find them very helpful in certain situations. There was a series of books I've done called Maple Ridge, and they are pen and ink drawings, although they're not really pen and ink drawings. I did them on the computer with a brush that looks like an ink pen. In these Maple Ridge books, there were like 62 spreads, and each spread had one, two, or three illustrations, and it added up to an awful lot of work. There were six books in all, so that's a lot of illustrations, and I had quite a short period of time to execute them. I agreed with the art director that we could go straight to the final art without submitting any preliminary sketches. So I went straight to art and worked as if it was the finished art. And this was good because the art director then could say, right, we need to change this, that and the other. It was easy for me to move it around, resize, rework bits. You couldn't do that with conventional pen and ink. You're committed as soon as you put the pen to your paper. I can rub it out easily on the computer and start again. You may think it's cheating, I don't care. All I need to do is to get that illustration done. So, to sum up, I don't think I'd ever go back to working conventionally again. I love my computer too much. I love my space and lack of mess. I love the freedom. And so, goodbye, two brushes and pencils. They can go away in a drawer. And all I need is this graphics pen, this graphics tablet, my computer, and I'm happy. It's good. So thanks for watching. Until next time, if there is a next time. I hope there's a next time. I don't know.